Hi guys, I mean, welcome to Fat Pandit. Um, we are an Indo-Chinese restaurant, one first of its kind, based in Soho at Perrick Street. As far as the food and beverage experience goes, you start off from the Momo stations where you have live dumplings. It's like you're going through a street, you're walking on a street, you start off with the dumplings and then you have an array of these Indo-Chinese delicacies that are cooked all around on the street. And that's what is reflected in the menu. So you start off with dumplings, you've got a few cocktails and mocktails which are inspired by the fruit vendors of India where lots of fruits are served with spices. So you start off with the momos and these fruit based cocktails with lots of salts and spices and then you come on to the main food menu which again is inspired uh, by what is served on the streets but we, we've got them on small plates and have it just dished out on the table and serve family style. The thing with, we didn't want to go with uh, classic norm of a restaurant of having large portions of a starter and a main course is because the cuisine is so new we wanted the guests to come in and enjoy every single bit of flavors that are to offer within this cuisine hence you'll have a selection of four small vegetarian plates you'll have a selection of a bit of seafood plates and you will have meat and game in it and then you can also go for some sides like rice and noodles and pink breads and then you can just finish off with a couple of desserts and masala tea this is what the whole concept is all about. What makes this cuisine really, really special is basically the cooking technique. That's what the key is over here. It's not Indian cuisine, it's not Chinese cuisine, but it's the Chinese cooking techniques. That is, you use a high flame wok cooker to cook the food. That's where you get the flavor of the Chinese food. But instead of using only Chinese ingredients, we use the Indian ingredients. Mm -hmm. Right from the word go, we knew there is a massive demand for halal food and there's a lack of halal Chinese restaurants in London. Obviously all the seafood and the veg the guests can eat but we've also kept the lamb and the chicken and the beef and it's all halal on the menu except for the game because the game is not unfortunately cooked. Obviously we know how important it is for a guest and uh, that's why we always prep and cook the halal meat separately to the other meat. So obviously you had these Chinese uh, people who came from China and settled in uh, Calcutta and to Tangra area and staple in their diet are momos so what are momos are basically they're dumplings they're dumplings but they are made with uh, very strong meat like yak meat or beef buffalo or mounted goat and so these are like really robust strong meats and they need to be hence the pastry of a momo is quite thick and it's always served with a very spicy sesame or a very hot spicy chutney and it's a meal in itself so over here we also bring momos uh, to fat pundit uh, so that you can just come in and enjoy a beef momo you can enjoy the chicken momo which is halal and if you are vegetarian we also have a spinach and a tofu momo so it caters to any and every one in the vegetarian section I would say the crackling spinach is uh, one of our star dishes uh, where we've got uh, the spinach leaves which we Literally, literally, they are individually fried. Uh, they are as light as air. They are crispy, and we serve it with some pomegranate. We make a tamarind chutney, but not just with tamarind. We also put some dates and some plum sauce. So that's where we make it slightly Indo-Chinese. We add the plum sauce, which is which is favored by a lot of people with crispy duck. And when we come to the seafood, we've kept one curry. Uh, there is a reason behind it, we've kept the curry, we've kept the Malabar bream curry because these Chinese immigrants, they also settled in Madras, in Malabar and they, they, they were huge fans of this curry. So we've got this bream curry, uh, we use the fish bream and again seasonally we'll keep changing the fish, what's the best available in the market. And this curry is then spiced with a Chinese chili oil and crispy coconut, which gives it a bit of an Indo-Chinese hint to it. Uh, we also have Bombay chili prawns which is a classic dish from uh, Bombay, uh, inspired from there. It's a Bombay chili sauce with, uh, with crispy prawns in there, it's again a star. We also do crunchy pepper crab, the soft shell crab, uh, which is basically a masala battered soft shell crab, uh, which is drizzled with a uh, mint sauce on top. 
but in the base is something quite unique which is very very uh, delicious is we've got crispy sweet corn and we char, char, char smoke it uh, in a wok with some Sichuan peppercorn and some uh, black peppercorn and some red chili flakes so it imparts a very unique flavor so it's uh, it's absolutely crunchy and goes very well with our mocktails uh, then we come to the meats um, our lamb chops again we've got a classic preparation called barra barra preparation is where you use uh, something called, called as a stone flower or patthar kapul as they say uh, it's a stone flower which is very unique again it gives a very different flavor uh, to, to our lamb chops and instead of using uh, thin, thinner lamb chops we actually use the french cut the rack of a lamb just cook medium rare but along with the masalas we also add black bean dust to it so black bean being a classic Chinese dish what we do is we we first uh, first again we slow cook it and then we we dry it and then we make it into a dust and then marinate it with the lamb chop so it gives a very salty flavor to the lamb chop and gives a unique uh, it's, it's just a unique combination so our lamb chops are again absolutely delicious and you, you can enjoy them with a paratha with the noodles with the rice it goes with anything and everything you want uh, we also have uh, Lollipops, chicken lollipops, no menu in India will be without chicken lollipops which are basically chicken wings which are pulled right at the end so they resemble a lollipop and again we don't use any colorings, uh, any artificial so we use the Kashmiri red chilli powder to give it the nice color uh, it's nicely spiced uh, with garam masalas and ginger and garlic and it's served with a Shezwan chutney uh, that Shezwan chutney is like synonymous with Indo-Chinese as well then we also have the ribeye. We use a 30-day aged, uh, 30 day aged ribeye beef. Uh, we cook, uh, it's cooked medium rare. We cut them in thick strips, and then we all we make it in a in a tomato-based sauce with some roasted toasted cashews and scallions. So again, it's a it's a sweet and spicy sauce. Uh, the ribeye again cook on a wok flame and gives a good smoky flavor with lots of red chili. Uh, it's a it's a d delicious dish as well. Cucumber cooler, three slices of cucumber, and then pinch of salt, then pinch of chaat masala, 
and 30 ml of lime juice and with water and with some ice and top up with soda water.